Soul Leveling is probably 2024's most anticipated anime. And back when the webtoon was still ongoing, that shit was also doing insane numbers. And hype train aside, this is just genuinely a great anime adaptation. Honestly, was not expecting that much from this adaptation, but three episodes in, and I'm just gonna say it, I'm really enjoying this anime right now. For the most part, the first two episodes during the double dungeon surpasses the source material, surpasses the manhwa. The atmosphere for those first two episodes was just straight up amazing. It's a level of intensity and engagement that the manhwa simply did not have, at least for me. That final scene in episode one was so goddamn climactic. You can just feel the rampant and chaotic energy within that scene. It's shock, it's adrenaline inducing, but most of all, it's fear. That's what everyone in the scene is feeling right now besides the dudes that are dead. Fear. Because this motherfucking statue just shooting lasers out of its eye. That was a moment where I was like, yeah, this, this show might hook me. And at the beginning of the episode, episode one, we get this opening scene where we actually get to see the events from Juju Island three years ago. This is anime exclusive content, and I think it's a great addition. We get to see some of the power system evolve. We get to see some key figures like this dude and this, I don't remember the names, Aizen and Healer dude. And again, we get to see Juju Island. We get to see the Chimera ants before they actually, you know, appear during the raid arc. And considering that there's 24 episodes in this season and this is the opening scene, I probably assume that Juju Island is the end of the season or the beginning or, you know, leaves on a click. Don't leave it on a click here. I swear to God, do not end this fucking season just before one of the best arcs. Because for my anime exclusives out there, if you don't know what Juju Island is, don't fucking worry about it, bro. Don't worry about it. You, you gonna see, bro. You gonna see. But now for my people that do know, <laughs> you already know what's about to pop, bro. That arc is flames, bro. And that's where it's like, okay, this 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 mom was entering S tier territory. In fact, if I remember correctly, I'd probably give Soul Eleven like a overall like a like a nine out of ten. I really enjoyed it. But I'm I'm going on a tangent. Let's talk about the actual anime. That devious ass smile from the statue sent shivers down my spinal cord. Honestly, I don't really like how they adapted it. It kind of happened just a little bit too fast, and I liked it more in the manga. But this is still fucking menacing as shit. And after this, when they have to find the statues to sing, the choir in the back is glorious. Also, want to give props to ED here. Usually, I don't mention these at all because they're just fine. But in this case, this one was really good. This is some serial lane, little nightmares, sci-fi horror bullshit of an ED, and a good way. Some sitting on the chair on some L shit, staring at the TV in an isolated room. What am I supposed to think of this besides some brainwashing bullshit? But all jokes aside, this is a really unique mix of 2D and CG with a pretty cool J-Rock track in the back. Also like the visuals themselves, it's cryptic, it's vague, it's mysterious, ominous. Whatever attitude you want to describe it with, that shit's really interesting. The added scenes about Cha and this Aizen bro, I forgot his name, serves as little nuggets of information that will pop it in the future later on and pay off. I really like when adaptations take the time to not only faithfully adapt the source material, but actually build on it and explore some things the original didn't. I mean, the new scenes aren't groundbreaking and they don't create a new narrative that's anime exclusive, but they do positively impact the story. I hope they maintain this level of emphasis on the video game vibe of the story because it kind of got lost past the first act of the manga. Like it had a lot more emphasis on the necromancy and such and such. Also, I hope they managed to capture the grind, the pure effort this man puts in to get to the levels he eventually climbs up to. Because right now he got zero aura, zero presence, zero status. But eventually he goes beast mode. So can't wait to see that. Before I end the video, I just want to say, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Because I'm curious too. Maybe you're not fucking with this adaptation. Maybe you're not fucking the animation for some reason. I like, I'm, the animation is good. I didn't mention that. But it's good. It's pretty good. Madhouse did their thing. I'm pretty sure they're doing it and they're doing a good job. But anyways, thank you for watching. See you tomorrow. Peace.